back to the channel. I appreciate you checking back in. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about an organization that I'm a part of called Heroes Behind the Line. So what is it, you ask? Well, later on in this video, I'll go into more of the details of what it is that we do and some of the upcoming stuff that we have going on. For now, I want to tell you about an event that we were a part of this last weekend at Rock City Harley-Davidson. So, there's another nonprofit group called the Battle and Bettys. They're on Instagram, Facebook, you can check them out. They were doing a Grill and Chill event there at Rock City and basically decided that any proceeds that they made from their event, they were going to donate straight to Heroes Behind the Line, which is awesome. So we went down, we just had these brand new t-shirts made up, and we were selling our t-shirts and selling tickets for a bash. Like I said, I'll talk about this stuff later on in the video. Here's some clips of some of the events from Saturday. Is heroes behind the line here's one of our business cards whenever I went to the police academy over a decade ago I made a lot of friends out of those friends two of them became really good friends and we decided to start this organization the reason why it's simple in 2017 and 2018 it was found that more first responders were killed by suicide than in the line of duty I don't know about y'all, but to me that's a serious issue. So what we're trying to do is to change legislation um, and then give resources to first responders so maybe they won't be suicidal or they have an outlet and somewhere that they can go to to get help with the issues. Because if you don't already know it, as a first responder, you see things that not your everyday average citizen sees. And sometimes that can cause issues. Now, I don't have a doctorate or anything like that, so it's not our job to diagnose these issues. All I can do is speak for some of the calls that we as first responders go to. Now, whenever I say, can you tell me about that bad call? Can you tell me about that incident? This is something that first responders and veterans deal with. Now see, after I said bad call or incident, a veteran or a first responder, they've quit listening to me. <clears throat> Their mind goes to those memories and reliving what they saw and dealt with on a particular incident or a call. Does that mean they have PTSD? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. But we do know that things need to change and that there needs to be resources for our first responders and veterans. So why do we include veterans and heroes behind the line? That's because a lot of our current first responders served in the military. And yes, they have resources available to them, but our main goal is to help first responders all across the board, getting resources and help to those that need it. 
Down in the description below, I'll leave a link to our website. It's www.heroesbehindtheline.com. Feel free to go over there and check it out. Like I said earlier in the video, we've got some new t-shirts that we've made up. If you'd like to purchase one and support us, we greatly appreciate it and we'll get that mailed out to you. Another thing that we're doing is on September 7th of this year, we will be at the Benton Event Center with the first ever Heroes Behind the Line Bash. We've got Shiloh Harris coming in. He'll be our keynote speaker. If you don't know who Shiloh is, you can do a quick Google search and we're really excited to have him come and speak. I don't wanna ruin it for you. I'll let you read up about him. So if you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification button. And also leave me a comment down below. I enjoy hearing from all of you. So with all that being said, my next video, it'll be back to talking about motorcycles or going for a ride since that is my therapy and how I deal with things as a first responder. But I appreciate all of you watching. Y'all ride safe. I'll see y'all in the next video.